everyone, it's Jen here at Stone Zoo, and today's Zoo to You is brought to you by the U Fund College Investing Plan and MIFA. And we have a very special behind the scenes look at our commissary, um, our Stone Zoo kitchen today. Uh, so we're going to invite you guys on in, and if you have any questions as we're chatting, make sure to add those down in the comments, and we'll do our best to answer them. So come on in. Uh, I'm going to introduce everybody to Mari here. Hi, so hi, Mari. Um, this kitchen looks a lot different from our kitchens at home. Um, so can you show us around and kind of tell us a little bit about the Stone Tree Commissary? I sure can. <laughs> so in these barrels, I usually keep all the grains that we use for the different animals. We have some for the waterfall, we have some for the high racks, for the booties, for the wolves over there, and for the primates, I usually keep them over here. We have our fridges. I usually go and prepare all the diets and put them in here until they're ready to transport to the main buildings. We have some bat bags, like a smoothie for the bat, it's most delicious. Um, and these are the meat diets that are all prepared. Freezer. I usually keep all the fish and the rodents, bones, all on this side. <laughs> we have the meat and some enrichment stuff. Sometimes I save the blood for some of the cats. And we keep like the salad for the macaws and some of the gels for the hornbills, chickpeas for the cotton tops, and some frozen berries and vegetables on the bottom. In this fridge, we keep all of our greens. This will get us through a week. We go through more kale than anything. And romaine collars, they love as well, but kale is the number one seller. And then here we have they go through a lot of carrots. It's 50 pounds a week. We have sweet potatoes. We go through about two cases a week. We have apples, celery, bananas. They love. But I say apples and sweet potatoes are their favorite. So where does all of this food come from? So um, we get it from our supplier, Katiruba. Um, we get it once a week. Sometimes, depending on how the greens come in, they might be a little small, so we'll get two orders a week. But Usually one order gets us through. And are even things like the mice and the meat, where does that come from? Do those come from like a store too? or? No, so we actually get those from Franklin Park, our sister zoo. Um, we make a trip down there once a week. Either I go down or he'll come down here and we just pick up about eight to ten cases of meat per week. Wow. <laughs> Um, so what does a typical day look like for you? So I usually come in in the morning, um, you know, if I have to deliver some grains to the buildings, I usually do that in the beginning of the week. Um, then I just come in and I start prepping the diet that I'm doing now. I do about 62 diets a day, and it's almost like half and half, like about 30 for the carnivores and then like 32 for the omnivores and the herbivores all together. I have more grains down here so that I don't have to keep traveling over there to like get them. And as you can see, I have some already divvied down into their containers. This is the diet that I'm working on now. I put them over. I don't know if you guys want to. Yeah. Well, how long does it take you to prepare all of these diets in a normal day? So usually about four and a half hours. And do you have all of these recipes? You mentioned 60-something animals. Do you have all the recipes memorized? I do by now. <laughs> <laughs> but in the beginning, I didn't. So this is the book, and it's a lifesaver. This is where all of the diets are. This is our recipe page where we have like the gels and the smoothies for the bats and like even the bird salads and the paws. And then these are the diets. So this is like for the carnivores, for like as small as like the kookaburra and the arctic fox and then we have like the wolves and the hyenas we have some more like the eagles and the otters and we have the birds and the reptiles 
So it looks like everything is very like individualized and personalized. Yeah. Um, so each animal has their own individual diet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> And do any animals require anything like special or is there anything kind of like interesting about any of their diets that you have to like take into consideration when you're preparing them? Yeah, so it's funny, the kookaburra is the same thing. The mice for the kookaburra have to be a certain size. You won't eat them if they're too big. Um, so we cut them, we make sure, it always gets two. And I usually try to find one that's like, well, 15 to 16 grams and another one like 20. And that seems to keep him happy. Um, the porcupines, there's one that hates to peel on the sweet potato, so I try to give him like pieces like this that has minimum peel on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Who gets the biggest diet here at the zoo? I would say off the top of my head, probably the peccary. But they're very good eaters. They eat every single drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like before I would even have trouble like getting it into the bucket like for long. But yeah, I would say they're definitely like, the biggest. Um, I think the leopard for getting the biggest meat diets, but they've gone down a little. And are all of these items that you've shown us all items that go strictly into their diets? Are any of them like special like treats or any sort of like novel foods that they ever get? So all the items that I told you, they get every single day. There might be like a, a day where they alternate. They might not get the mice on this day. Um, but like for novel foods, sometimes like I had last week, I gave them a cause of Cubanel pepper. <laughs> which you really enjoy, or you can give them like a whole pear instead of like chopping it up. Those are my babies, the hyacinths. <laughs> um, so, you know, sometimes we'll give some of the animals that don't get grapes, we'll give them grapes, or the bears, if we have peppers, they love the peppers. Mm -hmm. um, we'll give some of them citrus fruits, um, like oranges or grapefruits if we have them. So yeah, I don't know if you saw um, when we get the pumpkins, they really enjoy taking mm -hmm. those Awesome. So, can we take a look at an example diet? Can you kind of walk us through how to prep a diet? Yes. Yeah, so, I'm in the middle of prepping this one. I already have some sweet potato in there. I'm cutting the pieces smaller than the animal probably needs because it's better for their enrichment. Um, and now I can add some more items when you guys are ready. Yeah, and as Mari is adding items to this diet, if anybody wants to take a guess who this diet is for, um, you can go ahead and put those guesses in the comments below. And then when she's done, we're actually gonna go out and give this diet to our animal friend in the zoo. Good chopping skills. <laughs> <laughs> So we actually had an interesting question, Mari, because you do so much prepping here for the animals, but David wants to know what is your favorite dish to make at home? Oh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, and I just had a son, and he hates mashed potatoes. Like, he won't eat them for anything. <laughs> but yeah, I love mashed potatoes. Do you still like to do a lot of cooking at home, even though you do, like, a lot of meal prep here all day? Um, it depends how tired I am. Um, I love pizza, so I have no problem ordering pizza. Um, but yeah, I, I'm my biggest fan. So even if the food were to come out burnt, I was still acting like I got it from a five-star restaurant. Um, I'm going to set the side, the side aside. I want us to prep a diet for Sinji. And can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing with the scale too? I saw you hitting some buttons. So every time I put something on here, I always tear it out. I zero it out because you want to make sure that you get the number that you're supposed to get into there. Um, this is for some grains, some ZHP. She loves it, I've heard. Um, and we're going to give her some sweet potatoes and some apples. I'll do a little bit of carrots, but she's iffy about that. <laughs> Happy to get it. Special treats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So is all of this that you're putting in there part of her everyday diet or is some of it like a little bit special? So it's a little special today. Um, she doesn't usually get like the apples and the... Ooh, so she's gonna be excited. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna be happy, happy. So Rachel, have we had any guesses yet as to who this diet might be for? We have not had any guesses yet, but we'll be revealing <laughs> the answer in a few minutes Crazy. when we go out into the zoo. If anyone wants to guess in the meantime. Oh, we had two guesses now for reindeer. That's an interesting Ooh, one. That's, that's a good one. Guess. Great. Yeah, whoever this is is getting a nice little piece today. <laughs> yeah. And that is it for her diet. Awesome. All right. All so right. should we take a walk and go yeah. reveal our mystery <laughs> smacker? <laughs> And we can take a few more questions on the way if anyone else wants to leave them in the comments. Thank you. Okay. Have any other questions come through just yet? Uh, let's see, Allison asked which animal has the most complicated diet? Ooh, that's a great question. <laughs> I wouldn't say but to me, and it's actually one of my favorites with the care. Um, the Gibbons get a lot of different things. So they'll get like apples and bananas, grapes, a lot of sweet potatoes. Um, the agouti to me used to be more complicated just because they used to get so many different things like mixed nuts and it was like seven or eight different components just for one diet. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, Alice wanted to know if some animals are fed multiple times each day. Yes, yeah, so the hornbill, the silvery-cheeked hornbill, he gets fed about three times a day. I believe some of the primates, they get fed twice a day, like half and half. And the wolves get fed twice a day. Great. Um, and if we haven't guessed just yet, we are actually heading up to see Sinji, who some of you might remember from a Facebook Live that we did a couple of weeks ago. And Sinji is our resident domestic cat here at Stone Zoo. Can you hear her? <laughs> Let's see. Alice also wanted to know if in the commissary we keep uh, live animals like crickets or smaller animals like that that some of our animals get? No, so I don't have anything that's live in there. Um, all of our animals are there already. The rodents are dead. Thank goodness, because I would feel horrible feeding them. <laughs> Oh, and so while we're feeding Sinji here, um, Katie had some eagle eyes there. She noticed a sign on the wall talking about primate protocols and was wondering what that means. You have to take special yeah, uh, steps. Yeah, so every time you're dealing like with their diets, you always have a mask on, which we have now anyways. Mm -hmm. um, and just always have gloves on. And I know that when you're dealing with them like face to face, which I don't, you always have like the gloves and the mask that you, they're disposable, you change them as soon as you're done. I'm nice and happy now. Yeah. <laughs> you did much better. <laughs> 
And we had a question. Can you just remind us of what your title is here at the zoo? Oh, Mark. Sorry, technician. All right. How long have you been here for? A year and a half. Oh. And I love it. <laughs> have you, um, do you have a favorite animal here? I sure do. The hyacinth macaw. Oh, yes. You mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. They're just like, they're so honest and like wild. Like <laughs> they'll let you know exactly how they're feeling about you. <laughs> yeah, but they're like great. Like if you have them in your house, you'll know like if an intruder's coming in. <laughs> no more. Oh, Alice pointed out the holiday lights we have up around the zoo. Do we know if any animals get particularly curious about them, paying extra attention to them? That's a really good yeah. question. I don't know. We might have to ask uh, some of our keepers that. Um, yeah, I really don't know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question, though. Stingy. Looks like she's liking her snacks. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> she get it. There you go. Oh, she's going to be so happy today. <laughs> Great. Well, while she's enjoying those, um, is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up here? Yeah, just happy holidays and come visit us at the Stone Zoo and see all the great animals that we have. Great. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>